welcome back to my channel happy Sunday I am coming in today with one of my make nines and so if you've been following me um, this year you know already that I do have a playlist I will um, pop the link here or I'll pop the the most recent video um, here where you can go back and check out the other two I've already done so the make nine um, is you select um, either nine patterns, nine styles, nine garments, nine pieces that you'll be sewing up um, in the month of 2019. And so here is my make nine for the year. And so I've already completed my pants block. Um, and you saw that video. And if you didn't, you can check it out. Um, and then I also did the bra. And I've actually made a couple more cents. So if you've been seeing my <clears throat> scrap, like my scrap busting video, that was another, um, another version of the same bra um, that I had made again. So now we are into item number three. So very excited about it. This will be a very, a relatively short video today. The day I'm filming this is actually Independence Day, 4th of July here in the United States. So um, hope everyone that um, celebrates had a wonderful time off or relaxing day. The weather here is absolutely gorgeous, hot. I have my fan on, even though I have, we have the central air on, but yeah, it's still, my room gets the, my sewing room gets a lot of sun. So let's get into what I sewed up. This one is for the husband. This is the wardrobe by me, Cargo Shorts. Um, they range from a size 27 to 36 inches. And so, um, that's the size it has on here, but then you, um, once you get into the uh, actual measurements, it's just slightly different. So let me show you actually, and I'll pop up a picture because I don't think you're going to see this too good, but I did version B because my husband, um, is not into like the pockets on the side. He don't necessarily look for pockets on the sides of his pants or anything like that. And so, um, so it is a more simplified version and um, so let me get into the review so when I first cut it out I cut out um, the waist uh, size 40 hip 42 and a half his inseam down how far he would like his hem was 13 and a half inches and then um, this equated to a size 35 and again I did UB and so a size 35 in here is um, covering the waist of a 40 hip of 43 um, and so yeah and then once so once I went ahead and sewed up a muslin because I went and did a muslin first and I did it actually out of um, muslin fabric because um, I wanted to see the fit. So if you follow Myra Lorraine here on YouTube, and if you're not, you should, she has sewn this several times for her husband already. And so my husband saw that video and we've all actually met and they pretty, our husbands pretty much have the same style. And so um, I leaned on Myra for a couple parts that were a little bit sticky for me. Um, and I'll get into that um, as I'm going through the review, but here is the muslin. So I just did and, and part of the muslin um, I wasn't for sure how many pieces I needed to cut out, but I did need to cut out the um, there's a large pocket bag and a small pocket pocket bag and so when you're putting even a muslin together you need those pieces in order to make a muslin short so I didn't do like belt loops and stuff like that everything else I didn't do the well pocket as part of the muslin I just wanted to get the fit together so that's what this is I had some scraps these are all scrap the pockets were made out of scraps but wanted to see how it all came together and it did come together nicely now what I will say is there were a couple parts um, when cutting out the pattern pieces so there is a uh, the welt pocket the welt pocket pieces just have lines on it and I will say maybe that is probably my only thing about um, patterns that are printed in black and white that can be a little troublesome is that sometimes the lines as you can see here some of the lines look very similar and so um, the pocket bag, um, the well pocket um, bag lines, they, you see here how this 
is at least marked with the size. Those didn't have the size, so I didn't know what size to cut out. And so I <laughs> had to uh, DM Myra, and um, I think she said she just cut out the largest size. But it does make a difference when you are sewing in that piece. Um, that well pocket piece because if it's you cut the larger size but then you cut a different size for the actual pocket then you know that area then you have to kind of trim down a little bit or or whatever but at any rate so as a result and let me pop up here the before so you can kind of see what I'm saying so it was way too tight across his butt <laughs> and his thighs and so um what I did was I had to uh, research, I was like, okay, how do I make a seat adjustment in pants um, in particular? And so Karina helped me out. She led me to a couple different videos and I actually end up following, um, I want to say it was Alexand Al Alexandra Morgan. Ugh, I saw a couple videos. Oh, I don't remember which one. I want to say it was Alexandra Morgan. She had a seat adjustment um, video, and um, it was really simple and really good. So what I ended up doing was taking out the side seams um, just here around the pocket area, measuring how much that was, and then you add that into the um, actual pattern. So what I ended up doing was... You might not be able to see my because I made a couple marks that weren't the right marks but essentially um, what you end up doing is adding space you have to go from the dart up oops you kind of go from the dart up and you spread it there and then there's a air the area here that goes down to the knee if you can see that that you spread and um, so that's what I did and so here you'll see it doesn't point all the way down to the knee because I added this later as a separate adjustment outside of that. But um, so that's why I ended up doing to his shorts to give him more room for his thighs. So when he sit, it's not tight across his upper thighs and around his butt area. And so that actually worked out perfect. And let me show you. I'll pop up some video here of him in his shorts. He, yeah, he's probably doing something silly because um, I'm recording this first and then I'll um, be recording him in the shorts. <laughs> but, and the other thing that I did was because the first time when I did these shorts and I put the waistband on, for whatever reason, it was too short. Um, it came out about two inches short. I'm not sure why. Um, but what I did was this version, I just extended that the straight piece by three inches because I figure if the waistband is too long that's fine I can cut that down once I attach it because um, I knew how it attached and I knew where I would need to cut it down at and that worked out perfect I did cut off an inch on each side um, to do the waistband which worked out perfect um, one of the other things was the um, belt loops so he have um, you have a, a piece in the pattern for belt loops, but nowhere in the pattern or the instructions tell you how long each individual belt loop is supposed to be. I measured it out. It's supposed to be 3.25 inches long. <laughs> so if you do make these, that's how long your belt loop should be. Um, the top stitching, you do top stitch throughout um, the pattern, which that worked out um, very good. Now, I'll tell you where it got a little tricky was the inseam trying to top stitch. Um, and these are the shorts. Here's, here's the final. Here. Here's his welt. And you guys, this is the first time I've ever done welt pockets. And I will say the instructions for welt pockets in this pattern are really good they they are actually really good and it's just taking it slow taking it one step at a time and so they're not perfect but they look really good they look and you can this pocket looks better than this one because I had a little bit I didn't cut all the way can you see that I didn't cut all the way into that corner so you got a little bit of a um of a little bit of bunching of the fabric there but what I want to say is when you're um, doing the inseam, the top stitching in the middle, 
um, it was a little tough. So what I did was top stitch from the leg to the center and then flipped it over from the leg to the center because I couldn't feed the inseam all the way through um, for top stitching on the inside. And there is, can you see here? There is this piece where you put on the button and can you see that? Now, one thing that I did do that the instructions didn't say, so this piece here, if you didn't sew, see how I sewed that? If I didn't, this would be gaping open. And so that's one thing that the instructions didn't mention, but I made sure to go ahead and do that. Um, also with the buttonhole, now my buttonhole is not sitting in the right spot. I did um, kind of test on some tester fabric how long I wanted the, the buttonhole to be based on the button size. Um, but because how much room you get um, to put the, to sew the button on, um, I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, flush enough against um, with the buttonhole. And so I'm not overly excited about the buttonhole the way it turned out on this one. Um, and this is the final pair. Um, but luckily for me, my husband does not tuck in his shirt at all. He never tucks in his shirt. So no one will ever. You see that. <laughs> anyway. Um, and so, but here, here are the shorts. Let me just show you everything from the zip fly and all the instructions I will say for the, for these cargo shorts are really, really, really good. Um, like I said, for me, the only things that really boggled my mind was some of the size lines weren't very clear. So I, I was like, okay, am I cutting the right size? Am I not? And I will say by the time I got to the final version, besides making those adjustments, I also cut him the largest size so the largest size is a size 41 um, and hip 44 um, for a couple reasons obviously because it was tight across his butt and his thighs but my husband also liked his shorts to be a little loose looser fitting um, on him and so um, yeah but these still look really really good so um, the fit on these are nice the other thing I for totally forgot to do and I had wrote it down was to lengthen when I measured the muslin on him um, I was like yeah these are too short and um, he said yeah you need to lengthen these totally forgot when I sewed these up so for the final for these all I did was just um, serge the end and I just folded up very tiny so they don't end up too too short on him so the other thing that I want to share, so I did, that's why you see that piece, the front and back piece, I now lengthen them. I added six inches on the length, um, but an inch and a half of that will be eaten up by the hem. So it does give him a look. So we'll see um, how, how that is, but I'm sure it's fine. Before I do the hem, I'll remeasure it again on his next version because he will get three more pair for our trip next month. And so, <laughs> um, so yeah, he'll get three more pair. And when I say these are really easy to sew up, I would say if you, after you've cut everything out and, and all your fabric is cut out, um, from start to finish sewing, if you would just, I would say four to six hours. I would say four to six hours. And so for me, I sewed this across days when I was coming home from work. I think I started on a Sunday where I got a majority of it done. And then the next day I came home and just knocked out the rest. So let me show you the inside. The inside. So here is the back. Can you see that? Those are his back pockets, the welts. And so as you can see, here's the here's the waistband. Now you're supposed to sew, I think it was an inch and three eighths down all the way around and so that left a lot of fabric in my mind right here so I think and Myra did this I will use bias binding so it doesn't look like it's so much fabric there but it may be a some kind of binding around there y'all gotta excuse these nails gotta get my nails done but um everything look at that nice pockets and he actually liked he didn't necessarily care um to have pockets he said it really didn't matter but they would have looked way too plain to me so they definitely look good with the pockets in so he did like that the final of it um so far as the button 
Um, you guys know I do this on a lot of my buttons. Let me actually, so I wanted to show you the button and what I was saying. See how there's not a lot of real estate there on where you can put the button. Now, actually, I don't know what size button you're supposed to use. <laughs> I just had this button and I was like, I'm using it. So very well could have used probably the wrong size button, but I actually have room to go over if you can tell. So that's fine. Like I said, nobody's going to see that because he don't tuck his shirts in. But um, you guys know I like to do these stabilizing buttons on like I did that on my jeans. Um, I did that on a couple different garments I sewed up that gets a lot of pull um, on it just to kind of keep that stable. So um, I did put that stabilizing button on the back. Here's the zip, the zip fly. Beautiful. Yeah. I had I used my other machine to put in the um the button. And so look, my bobbin thread is purple. <laughs> that is hilarious. <clears throat> that is hilarious. But fly front went in beautifully. You do they do um recommend surging seams and ends and everything. So everything so you have a nice clean finish, which I like. So look at that. Um and so yeah that's basically it it's a really good pattern so if you're looking to sew up um these are for men i don't know if wardrobe by me have them for boys if you have young boys um but these are men sizes and like i said the sizes start so depending on if you have a son um the waist starts at a size 32. so um yeah so that's what it says in the in the measurements is size size 32 so um maybe if you have a teenager he would like these and i really do like um how the waistband is put in is the waistband isn't attached from the outside it's it's attached from the outside but then you fold it in and then you sew it down oh the last thing the only other thing i did that was wonky was the belt loops i had put them on the wrong way so when i had flipped them over to tack them down you see the wrong side there again who's gonna see that <laughs> but those are things i marked down to make sure i remember to do it the right way um next go round. so yes like i said he will be getting three more pair and he absolutely loved them and so um yeah so that is my review of the wardrobe by me cargo shorts um, if you have any questions, please, please let me know down in the comment section next week. Um, stay tuned. I do have um, a video coming up. I'm not sure which one. I have something's coming up next Sunday. So make sure you are tuned in. Either I will have the holly yoke or I will have my block. One of the two. So make sure that you are tuned in for that. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, that is it. You will see the other pairs that I make up for him probably after our trip or if I'm able to do a video before we leave for our trip. But who knows, depending on the timing. So thank you everybody for tuning in today. Welcome again to all my new subscribers. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, thumbs up this video. Like it. Um, and leave a comment let me know uh, what you think about this and would you give them a try thank you everybody again and you all have a blessed week bye